Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to the channel. And I thought I'd do some festive um, mediumship. Uh, normally at this time of the year I want to pack in as many maybe short messages as we can get through. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, White Stones here said a wee prayer. The channel does look quite full. Um, I would ask them to keep it brief, but then <laughs> they'll do what they like anyway. So anyway, remember um, if you recognise um, a message for someone, if you could pass it on to them, but be pass it on with caring and with a sense of when would the right time be. And um, yeah. And if you can take a message, please uh, acknowledge it either in the comments below or a wee um, email to me because it's nice to get the feedback. Some of them are amazing and make me really happy. So, um, yeah. Let's see what we've got. Um, the first message is from a male. I'm getting a, quite a boyish male energy. Um, it's from a Dean. And it's to mum, and he's holding up a, a little white bear, like a polar bear, or a, maybe a teddy bear, but it's a white teddy bear. And um, it's just sending love to mum. There's a connection to name John and Amanda in there, and hmm, maybe a Phil or. F no. It's like a f name, not getting it, sorry. But um, I love the wee white bear, that's lovely. That might be something that the mum can take. Okay, um, I have Janice uh, saying hello to, I think it's a sister or sister-in-law, Mary. And I thank you for all she did before she passed and when she passed. Ah, uh, thank you. There's a Thomas connection in there with that one too. Um, it's almost like maybe looking after Thomas or... So I don't know if Mary's looking after Thomas or Thomas is looking after Janice where she is, but um, that's that's good. Um, <clears throat> got the vision of a, a little girl who seems about six or seven sitting with a... A baby doll, it's like a tiny tears. Um, I think this might have been a kind of last present before she went over, which is horrific, but she's shown a sense of serenity and love. The way I'm seeing this wee one, her energy could she could have been over in the last ten years. She's she's quite um quite a bright spirit. And um I feel there may have been a a disease like a leukemia or a toxicity in our system. I wish I could get more on that. She's saying the name Elise or Elise. It could even be Eliza or Elise. And it may well be that English isn't her first language. I'm, I'm not sure whether it is or not. I'm getting a really strong Donna coming in in the background, like Donna knows Donna can, it's like Donna can make sense of this and maybe then pass it on. So we'll see where that comes. We love. Um, I've got a, a man in spirit and he's, he's talking to a daughter and he's saying um, he's a keeper, he's a keeper as though someone she's involved with he's a keeper, like she could keep him or maybe something they would say about you know someone that you would care for it's Joe in spirit or Joseph and an MA name down here, like Margaret or Marge, Ma, um, but he's, he's quite sums up for 
possibly a daughter or a granddaughter having a male-in that's a keeper. And if he's some sort of bloody goalkeeper or something, bear in mind that too, because you never know how spirit works. They really don't. <laughs> um, okay. Jean is fine in spirit and is with Harry. And that, I believe, is for a Jane name, or it's like, it's a different Jean. It could be Jane or like Janet or Jeanette here, Jean, Jane, uh, but with Harry, uh, happy spirit. Okay. Got Peter saying, no, I think the Peter's here. I've got Michael in spirit that is telling Peter here to always go for your dreams because the support that you'll have will be amazing. He's got something in his hand, it's like a ticket, but I can't see what's on it, but I know it's like you know, either a travel ticket or a plane ticket or even just a ticket for the theatre or something, but it's, it's a ticket. Um, so that might be relevant, maybe Peter's to go travelling or something like that. Maybe Peter should be in the West End or Broadway. <laughs> Again, I always, I shouldn't sort of, it's just some people can take the messages very literally and sometimes they're about something else that's represented by whatever they're showing. Um, so I do like just to say, well, you know, that you have to sometimes think outside the box because... The spirits are trying to get a message over with as easily as possible, which can be symbolic rather than words, you know. So if they can show me something and that something means something to the person here, they'll do that first. Okay. Um, kind of thought that would happen. Okay, uh, Paul <laughs> for Mum and Scott. Time's gone on, but he is a happy spirit and he knows there's happiness there for you. It's going like this. So I don't know if somebody's maybe got cold sores or they've grown a moustache, but he's deliberately drawing his hand over his top lip. And having a wee. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, well, I thought someone was going to say Colette there, but it's not. It's a. It's a. Oh, a message for Colleen. And um, I'm hearing the word or the name art. And it's almost as though this person is wanting art. Now, I don't know if that's someone saying be arty or if it's art or Arthur. I'm really not sure, but it is a male. And he's sending so much love to Colleen. <clears throat> and saying art. Okay. I've got Christine saying that she misses her family but she's not in any pain anymore and she is with who are you with? She's with Iris or Ira. Iris or Ira and she's just a happy spirit. This was this was a good woman. This was a good woman. Okay. Um, again, I've got I've got um Morris 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 in spirit. Um, wanting his family to know that he's fine and he'll be with them at Christmas Day as usual. He comes every day. I think this man's got such a a sense of Christmas in his bones. 
I think it's Morris or Maurice. I think this is a big family that he regularly watches have their festive dinners together. I get a feeling this might be USA. Okay, and <clears throat> I think that's it for now. I may do some more, I'm not sure. Um, but that's what's been in the line for now. So um, if you can take the messages, please take them and acknowledge. And if you can pass them on or share the video or whatever, that would be good too. And um, I hope you've enjoyed them. As I say, the, the, the ones I tend to ask for at Christmas are sort of maybe a wee bit short and sweet so we can get a few in and um, that's what's happened today and I'm very happy with that. Just uh, a, an Angela saying hello to Tim or Timothy. Just come in there. So thank you very much and uh, I hope that those of you that have lost spirits, have lost people, know that they're, you know, either making their journey into spirit, um, finding their feet, getting their wings, or they're established spirits and are happy to uh, be where they are. So uh, it's a time where we can really, really feel the loss of people, family and friends. Um, but believe me, they're not that far away. They're really not. And they tend to pull close at this time of year. So if you've got something unusual um, happens, maybe you mention the person's name saying the tree lights go off and on or, you know, there's something moved that was somewhere and then it moves to somewhere else. Or if you get some synergy that you think, oh, that was Dad's favourite song, where did that come from? Remember that these can all be messages from your spirit folk. Um, so have a peaceful Christmas and know that your spirit beings are around you and there's a lot of love around you. Many blessings now. Bye.